okay we finished now talking about trigger now right here at the beginning of inspiration what trigger the ventilator now we need to move to the second part is the ventilator needs to know how to deliver this breath okay now we finished the trigger part which means how the ventilator get the message about initiating a breath how when to do or, or when to deliver the breath sorry now the second part is how to deliver the breath okay the ventilator will not know by itself how to do that so we have to tell the ventilator how the way we solve this issue because simply the ventilator can say okay you want me to deliver 500 cc of tidal volume then how do you want me to deliver um half of it at 60 liter per minute for example and then slowly come down or how do you want me to do you want me to deliver it in two second in three second 50 percent of it 250 uh, cc in one second so the ventilator will get confused so you need to tell the ventilator how the way we tell the ventilator how to deliver the breath is by setting a goal we tell the ventilator we set you this goal please achieve it and maintain it during this inspiration so the ventilator will achieve and maintain this goal and please do whatever you need to maintain our goal that's why this phase it has another name called target and before we move in more details here i want to refresh your memory about the equation of flow is equivalent to the proximal airway pressure we talked about before minus alveolar pressure divided by resistance and remember this alveolar pressure also can be replaced by volume divided by compliance the main thing i want you here to remember is vol flow and proximal airway pressure are the forces or the elements the ventilator can control can go up and down on them so i want you to remember this very well as you see from this equation if the flow if i want to increase flow i can simply increase the proximal airway pressure and the proximal airway pressure on the other hand is equal flow multiplied by resistance plus alveolar pressure the same thing i want to increase the proximal airway pressure i need to increase the flow i want to decrease i can decrease the flow because the ventilator does not control the resistance or alveolar pressure mainly remember this control proximal airway pressure and the flow that's what the ventilator control 